This is where you come into the mini oven sculpture garden. It starts here. My basic design, nobody will ever know this, but it was, if you look down from up above, it's like the stem of a flower with the bottle chapel being the flower and two leaves on either side. Um, I'll talk about the different sculptors who added to all of this so beautifully. Um, this was done by Hiroshi Suyoshi, a well-known ceramic artist in Wilmington. He thought of, at the entrance to the garden, having Minnie Evans' portrait looking out of her gatehouse where she worked all her life. He also did this fountain. We wanted a water element to the garden. If we turn this way and look at the other leaves. Uh, these were done by Tejula Turner, who is from the Charlotte area. They are cement triangular benches. As we walk along this path, uh, this is uh, colored cement, and I finally got permission to press leaves and vegetation from Airly into our cement uh, in patterns that Minnie Evans uh, used herself and the plants that she painted. These angels flanking the bottle house were done by Dume Gorham. Uh, they're copper. Brooks Cough had children do 95 stepping stones of mosaics for each year of Minnie Evans' life. Um, she talked with young children at different schools around our community. Some of these were kindergarten and first graders. And she first showed them posters and paintings by Minnie Evans. And then had took them away and had them do designs that they remembered and were influenced by. I think my favorite is this heart made by two swans. And the swans are so well known here at such a symbol of early gardens. This is right in front of the rainbow doorway. She used eyes so much in her painting, so there's an eye above the door. This is a butterfly. My favorite wall of the bottle chapel. This is a stained glass mosaic done by Brooks Cough. Uh, this is the white angel. And then right on the other side is the black angel for many heavens. The stepping stones just continue the spiral from outside. Um, so you can just spiral right up to the base of this wonderful copper tree. Uh, Michael Van Hout did the copper birds. And Karen Crouch did this amazing copper tree. Right here behind the tree, I decided to make a little shrine. This is a pedestal that I found here at Airly uh, that was, that's in some of Minnie Evans' paintings. There have been terrible storms here when I've been working, and it's a, an amazing sound to hear the wind blowing over thousands of bottles at once. Sound like an organ. I signed it over here by the rainbow doorway and decided my hands were ruined in here. I might as well make a handprint. Really, this whole thing was made to be seen at night, I think. Uh, the lights just subtly lighted up, and so from a distance, it's just this rich, soft glow like stained glass. My whole idea in this was to create sort of a three-dimensional Minnie Evans painting so that people could see it from a distance and enter it and see the images she used that were done by the other artists also and then come inside and it's just everything was influenced by her style and her work and her colors so I think it it she would have been pleased <laughs> I hope